Well, today, Baltimore's top prosecutor provided new details about a list her prosecutors keep of potentially troubled officers. We also got an update on the investigation into the Gun Trace Task Force. WJZ investigator Mike Elgren is live at the University of Baltimore tonight, breaking it all down. Mike. Let's start with that list, Rick. The state's attorney says it's grown from some 180 officers to 305 today. And we got an update on that long promised independent investigation into the GTTF, and we learned that it could take up to two years to complete. More than two years after the Gun Trace Task Force scandal broke, the man tasked with investigating it says he has an unlimited budget and time to look into what led to sweeping police corruption in Baltimore. But he has yet to get the officer's files from internal affairs. Who looked the other way when they should have seen the signs and symptoms that some very bad and corrupt things were going on among the members of the GTTF. State's Attorney Marilyn Mosby told Maryland's commission to restore trust in policing that she has a list of 305 officers, some former, some current, flagged for integrity issues. She said she provides the information to defense attorneys if these officers are involved in their cases. Allegations pertaining to theft, false statement, perjury, something to do with their um, credibility. Mosby so, also provides the information to police, and she said of that list, more than 20 officers are considered so corrupt she won't call them as witnesses. I don't control, you know, what happens with the police department and what they do with their employees, but I can make them aware that they probably shouldn't put them in a position to have to testify on the stand. BPD's head of public integrity said some remain on the force. I believe two of those people still work for us. The rest of them have either been terminated, resigned, uh, or moved on in some fashion. Former Detective Marcus Taylor, convicted in the gun trace task force scandal, wrote this letter to the commission saying he has evidence from more than 80 cases on a phone confiscated by federal authorities and questions why prosecutors have thrown out so many. There are additional officers that have impl been implicated in the GTTF. So some of them we've gone public with, others are still possibly under investigation with the U.S. Attorney's Office. And she wasn't naming names today. Reporting live at the University of Baltimore, Mike Helgren, WJZ.